In this clip, I'm gonna show you how to set up the kitchen and electrical on your Explorer rear fold. First of all, we'll start with the kitchen. You'll need to grab this, the kitchen support leg. It'll be stored in the drawer on the other side. To open the kitchen, just at the top left is a knob. Pull that out and that'll release the kitchen. To pull the kitchen itself out, grab the bottom handle and pull it out. Not this one, this is actually for the serving tray on the end. You don't want to pull it out via that. So grab the handle, extend it the whole way. Now the lip on the top of this pole fits in the receiver hole under the front here. Undo the knob and extend the leg down. Take a little weight off the kitchen and tighten it up. The connections for the gas and water are just here beside the kitchen. Hoses are stored underneath the sink. There's a relief hole cut out in the bottom of the sink where you can actually pop your hoses out through there, bring it around and connect them up. The gas bayonet is a bayonet fitting. It's got a L-shaped slot in it. Line that up, push it in and turn it to the right and that's locked in. All we need to do now is pop the water hose out out through the same hole, bring it across, and it is a snap fitting. So just push it in and the collar will pop back. The electrical panel on the Explorer rear fold is fairly simple. It consists of a main isolator switch here. So when we turn that on, we've got 12 volt power to all the circuits. We've got four switches here that control circuits, which is water pump, fridge, a spare one and power sockets. The main one you need to be concerned about if you're traveling, you've got a fridge in the front box and you want to keep it running, you need to have the fridge one switched on. That'll supply power to your fridge the whole time and you also need this on. When you're not running a fridge and you're packed up ready to move on, you can literally just switch the main switch off. Too easy. You've got a voltmeter, you've got an amp meter and here we have our charger. Nice and simple, plug it in, it's a multi-stage charger, it'll take great care of the batteries. Just check that on the settings that it's on AGM and it'll do everything for you. Last but not least, we need to plug in this power supply to the igniter on the kitchen. Plug it straight into the 12 volt socket here and it's all done. And that folks is how we set up the electrical and the kitchen on your Explorer rear fold.